this is the first time I've left the house in any vlog. What? Every single vlog that I have put up has been of us in the house. <laughs> But we're leaving. We are heading to Timonium to grab lunch at a Mexican restaurant that neither of us have ever been to. And Mike is going on a secret mission to pick up my Christmas gift. It's perhaps the first time ever that he's getting me something and I don't know what it is. Cause I'm, I am a gift guesser. It's not a good quality, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> and we don't typically give each other gifts, but we are having Christmas morning with uh, my mom and her significant other. And so we're just gonna give each other something kind of small to open. So he's gonna do that and I'm gonna kill time at Target and finish up some of my last minute shopping. I think today's gonna be a disaster. Don't you think? Oh, 100%. Yeah, so you look nice today. Thanks, that was nice to see you. You can't even get lucky, so you don't even have to be that nice. No, but you should be nice. My hoodie is from Loft, and I will link it if it is still available. It is so cozy and lovely, and my nails look like trash. <laughs> it looks even stupider than I thought. Okay. I just got a Carhartt hat. Back when I was in high school, wearing Carhartts was out of necessity. Are you biting your nails? Yep. But now it's like a fashion statement. I don't look good in these hats anymore because I look bald. I look bald. So I was wearing it more like this, like a little bit, so you could see that I clearly had hair and Mike said, this looks stupid. I think they both look stupid. If you have a pixie haircut, please tell me how you wear a beanie because I have found that's like my go-to winter style and I look... I guess you're wearing headbands from now on. But I look stupid. Earmuffs. Honestly, I could. But like, you know, I don't have any hair to keep my head warm. Hey, hey. Barkley, you're a savage. So Mike and I just did our last minute errands. I am making a nice big basket of all of these snacks for all of our delivery folks and our mail people. I got this at Sam's Club actually. And I liked that this had so many different options in here. And then we also got them some cookies and I might put some drinks out too, but just a little something to say thank you. This box is 56 pounds worth of wine. I never do the Naked Wines boxes, but they got me this year because it was, you know, a case of wine plus a magnum sized bottle and it was $59. So I thought that was a great deal, even if they don't even taste that great. And then this is the aftermath of our Sam's Club visit. You know, Kraft is paying you $20 if you agree to not use cream cheese this holiday season. It's funny because someone actually commented on my Dutch oven the other day. I think I misquoted them and I told them that I had a Martha Stewart, but that was a lie. I actually had a Target brand and it has just chipped beyond repair and the enamel on the inside really was chipping away and just, you know, no longer really usable. So I did get this at Sam's Club and it was $39. That's a really good deal. And it's this pretty kind of seafoam blue color. Ah, okay. Wow, thank you. It's fucking good. Every time you're in the vlog, you're chewing on a chicken drumstick. Mmm, <laughs> that is good. Anyhow. This was a seven quart and I, it's so deep. It's much deeper than my other one. My other one might've been five. This was the one I thought I had, but I lied. Sam's Club. You're gonna get your ass in the kitchen. Wow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, that's cute. Mike, where are we gonna put these? If you're an old timer, you know, this is our wine cabinet slash whatever the fuck we put in here. Bunch of shit. <laughs> it's mostly booze and tableware. Okay, here's the little thank you basket that I made for our delivery drivers. I hope that they take it. Just a little thing to say thank you. Also, love repurposing this beauty pie box. <laughs> okay. This is a Monteria. Louis Vieira? Vieira? I'll link all of them below. What is this? Portuguese. 
Montaria Red Wine, Portugal. Montaria. 2020. Then I have a Ruby Von Strasser Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, so if you ever bought anything from Naked Wines, they have like this angel program, which I never understand. Like, is that a cult? Thank you, angels, for making my dreams come true. Yeah, they all have something about the angels on them. You know what? I'm going to refer all of you. Use the link down below and you can get $100 off your first case. Fuck yeah. You're our angels. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, what's this one? What? Bagias. Okay. This is Zinfandel. Okay, thank you. Not the biggest fan of it, but that. You don't know. We could, we have my. That'll be it. our second bottle of the night. It's got raspberries, plums, and black cherries. I was hoping for raisins. Raisins. Mike loves raisins. How pretty is this? Mm. Isn't that nice? It's a piece of art. Antonio. Well, you know what? I'm not going to read the names. It's a Tempranillo, but I really like the packaging. Peanut Nor. This doesn't say anything about the angels. They don't like no. the angels, evidently. Oh, this one. <gasps> Fuck the angels. Cabernet Sauvignon, another one of those. A Toscano? Mm -hmm. Toscana. Yeah. Toscana. I love Western Cape Australian wines. Do you? Yeah. Each I found the best grapes for you, angels. <laughs> Each vintage, a more impressive number of angels do me and my family's vineyard a huge honor. Can someone explain what the angels are? Not by drinking these wines, but by making them happen. This is a Grenache. Oh, a Grenache. Oh, I like that label. Pretty. That looks, that looks like... Classy, expensive. Benjamin Darno. Button. And then the bonus line was a magnum of the F. Stephen Miller mm. Winter Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a black label. Let's read it. Dear Angels. <laughs> Swear to God. Thank you for making my dreams come Winter's true. here. I love this time of year when the fire's roaring, the family meals are loud and full of joy. I hope this warm and cozy Cabernet Sauvignon finds a seat at the table and makes your holiday memories even more special. Angels. Angels. Do you think uh, they constantly hear bells ringing? An Every time a bell wing, rings, an angel gets its wings. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to open one of these. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one? That looks like a, a Shiraz from the Western Cape. Oh, Mike's oh, favorite oh, Western oh, Cape. Aus Western. Oh, I thought you said Australia. It is Australia. South Africa. Oh, I hate South African wines. I'll drink it. You do not. Was there another one that was from Australia? <laughs> no, I just, I just filled in the blank with what my head saw. God. Angels saved me when I needed it the most. <laughs> I swear to God. Open it and let's do a little on-camera tasting. Angels saved me when I needed it the most. My brother and I had just parted ways in the family vineyard and I jumped at the opportunity to work with Naked Wines. This sounds like a novel. Do you know why I heard a brother parted ways? Each vintage, a more impressive number of angels do me and my family's vineyard a huge honor, not just by drinking these ones, but wines, but by making them happen. Yeah, books to one man. Yes, I'm getting it, but it's just easier to pull them off. Yeah, did you know that you can just pull these off? You don't have to have a wine cutter. Wow. Why don't you get over here so you can be in the tasting? I'm in the tasting. Video. Better not spill this on my carpet. I mean, I'm right in the white, so maybe I will. We are not some malgais. On the nose. Seems quite jammy. Cheers. It's very jammy. It's good. I think it's good. Yeah. Thank you, angels. I've had way worse, more expensive bottles. I agree. So I paid $60 divided by 13. Let's just say that's a bonus because they just okay. threw it in. Five 60. bucks a bottle. Oh my God. That's almost as cheap as three buck chuck. I don't think it tastes super minerally and mm. sulfite-y, which was what I was afraid of. Because I think that cheaper, cheaper wines typically taste, like you taste more mineral content. I sound like a sommelier. Not bad. I wouldn't pour it down the drain, I'd, and I've done that before. I'd buy this again in a restaurant, like a glass of it. Yeah. Hmm. All right, that's the uh, wine haul of the video. Anything else? I mean, for all you angels out there. Just... <laughs> I mean, I'm going to link it below. I've done it before. I've done this exact, not this exact, that's a lie. I have done another case discount purchase from them before, five years ago. I looked it up in my account. 
We should start trying the bin six whatever. Yeah. Was it six twenty six? Six oh four. Six oh four. Yeah. They do like a mixed case. But even that, a mixed case and it's over a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. Right. But this was sixty. Mm -hmm. And they delivered it right to my house within two days. It came from Secaucus, New Jersey. Secaucus. Secaucus. Oh my god, my foot's falling asleep. We gotta end this. Secaucus. Okay. Um, I gotta uh -huh. close out the video. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is a this is great. Is it? Got a little little butt crack. I told you these are not these are like low rise jeans. I am oh. not as young as I once was. I like it. Looks like you're trying to like looks like you know you're sitting at the bar like we're like twenty years old again. You're just trying to sh ooh baby. I want to die now. <laughs> you have officially made me want to throw up. Oh my god, I am twenty years old. Normally, I wear jeans that come up here. These, you can even see my new belly button. This is a new belly button. This is not what my belly button used to look like. I can't wait to put something in. <laughs> God, you're dumb. I love you. I love you. Another one of us. <laughs> Sometimes the shit that comes out of your mouth. Let's close out the video, Mike. I look like a bad bitch. Do we have some pop tarts? With these hoop earrings and this hat. I told you who I thought you looked. Oh. J-Lo. Oh, yeah. Mike thinks Jenny I Jenny from the block. Mike said I look like Jenny from the block. Like, this is something J-Lo would wear. As if. You think J-Lo's rocking a Carhartt hat? She would be so lucky to. Yes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you missed it, my part three of my hysterectomy excision surgery journey video went up. I'm so glad to be done with that. High five. Right? Like, uh, it feels like so long ago, but also not. Your surgery was a month ago. It's funny because Irv asked me how I was doing today. Yeah. And I said, now that you say that, I haven't had leg pain in the last like three or four weeks. Well, let, let's say three. Let's say three weeks. Since Thanksgiving, I haven't had any leg pain. Wow. That's amazing. So Mike had back surgery two weeks after I had my hysterectomy. Don't smart. Do, don't, no, fucking do, smart. Do as we say and not as we do. My mom had to come take care of us. And when I say my mom had to come take care of us, Mike and I laid in bed, and when we would wake up in the morning, because I was still in pain, and Mike obviously was in pain, she would be like, let me know when you need something, just holler for me. So we would be laying in bed, <laughs> and I would be like, mom? No, I only had to get up the one time to get her. But that time that I said, yeah. mom, she, what? 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 <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> it was so funny. But it made me feel like a little kid. It made me feel like a little kid in bed with my big baby man husband. Mom, I peed the bed again. Mom, I had a nightmare. Did you say big baby husband? Yes. So anyhow, yeah, Mike had surgery. We both had surgery. This has just not been a good year. Fuck I, 2021. I would do it again. You know why? Because you feel better Be now. Same. Well, I would too. Because we had a week that was absolute shit. Oh, as opposed to you like, would do it then again at right, the same time. As opposed to having like... I see what you mean. You and us not overlapping, then it's like a whole month worth of just shit together. And our celibacy would have lasted six months versus almost three. Almost, almost, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, this wine, I give it a, you know, I give it a seven. You know what? I'm right there. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Right seven? I feel like seven is good. How is the good boy? Mm, just ask master. I'm going to ask my mom if she's going to be willing to be on my vlogs. Oh my God, she will... Oh my God, I'm waiting all my life for you to ask me. She's been waiting to get on our show. This is what, she calls it a show. She says, if I can watch it on a screen, it's a show. <laughs> I said, if this were a show, I would be making money. Our time of the month is making money, but I'm not okay, making money. Right. I don't yeah, see yeah, a dime yeah, yeah. of it. Right. Okay. I would, time be, of the month. I would be making money if this were a show. Bravo, where are you at? Which means I'd be making money. Oh yeah, Mike thinks that when we get divorced one day, he's going to take half of the our time of the month business. No, a he's, third. He's got another thing coming. Actually, it'd be half of your half, so I'd be like a quarter. I'm going to karate chop you right in the then throat. Then don't divorce me. <laughs> don't give me a reason to. It's funny because someone will watch this and then they'll be like, oh my God, oh my God they have problems. <laughs> Unless you do something real bad and then that's it for you, brother. Listen here, brother. <laughs> oh my God, we have to go now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Love you, bye. Cut it. Wait, can you do the cut? Oh yeah, the reason that we do cut it is because of Mike. Cut it!